Hi right, guys, today is March 27th, 2020. Uh, futures are pointing down uh, today, uh, about the 800 points. Uh, after uh, the Senate uh, Republicans sent uh, the, the bill to approve uh, to House Democrats, and House Democrats are still scrambling to approve this uh, relief package. So in general, it might be a, a chips off the table day um, in general for investors because of the three in a row huge gains and uh, some people might want to take the chips off the table, like I said. So let's jump to S&P 500, SPY. And uh, I'm expecting some kind of a pullback uh, today, but at the same time, I'm looking at the MACD and MACD is crossing here. So who knows what's going to happen? So I'm watching S&P 500 uh, SPY very carefully, but uh, I can't tell if this is going to go up or down at this point. Uh, uh, it's, it's the market, the whole market is very news driven. So let's jump to corporate news. Uh, I want to talk about the uh, cru uh, cruise lines uh, today because a lot of people are asking me about the cruise lines, whether it is time to buy cruise lines. And uh, in general, I don't like the cruise lines uh, uh, because, uh, first of all, in this bill, uh, companies that will get help are the companies that registered in America and the United States. So uh, these cruise lines are registered in like Panama, they're registered in uh, Bahamas, uh, just because the, they wanted to avoid uh, paying U.S. taxes and also uh, avoid paying uh, minimum salary wage uh, that was set in the United States because uh, a lot of their workers are foreign workers. So I'm not sure if they're included in this uh, relief package uh, uh, help bill. So we'll see what happens, but in general, I'm very pessimistic on these uh, cruise lines, especially like uh, the big ones, uh, CCL, uh, the Carnival Cruises, the RCL, and, uh, and, C and CLH, Norwegian Cruises. So uh, not very optimistic about those uh, those things and uh, to tell the truth, uh, yesterday I, I was seriously considering uh, to short those uh, stocks, so I wouldn't touch them. Okay, in separate news, Amgen was upgraded yesterday. Amgen is a biotech, is a big biotech company, and uh, they were uh, maintained overweight by Oppenheimer yesterday. And uh, I think uh, Amgen, uh, if they come, can come down in around 190. Maybe that's a pretty good buy, in my opinion. Uh, also, Umbrella is a technology company. Umbrella was upgraded yesterday uh, by Stiffo, but uh, it's a little bit too high for me uh, to get in an Umbrella, an Umbrella at 50 bucks. And right now it's trading a little bit, little bit lower as all the stocks pre-market trading a little bit lower. But um, if this comes down to like mid 40s, Umbrella, Umba symbol, uh, that could be a, a pretty good buy. So all the bank stocks, for example, Bank uh, of America was um, maintained at neutral uh, and with a price target of $27 uh, today uh, by Citi. And uh, like I told you uh, several days before that uh, all these bank stocks are pretty good buy in my opinion in general. Uh, bank of America especially and uh, JP Morgan uh, I like the, both of those stocks, but uh, Bank of America closer to $20, I think is a really very, very good buy. But, uh, you know, if it comes down a little bit, maybe you can establish a small position if you want to get into banks. And uh, if it goes lower, you know, add some more. Because in this area, in a $20 area, this is still a pretty good pickup. So I also like, uh, actually, Wells Fargo because uh, they were beaten down a lot. That's a Buffett stock, by the way. And uh, they're trading at a very low multiple at this point and uh, paying high dividend, uh, WFC symbol. I think it's uh, not a bad pickup in my opinion. Also Citigroup. Uh, Citigroup is also trading uh, a little bit lower, lower this morning, closer to $40. I think it's a uh, uh, pretty good pickup. And uh, Morgan Stanley. I also like this stock and uh, actually those stocks said that they will not uh, lay off workers until the end of the year and uh, that's a good sign uh, but uh, a better sign that the Fed is providing unlimited, unlimited liquidity to those banks that's really good 
and uh, like I said before, Fed stepped up big time this time compared to 2008 uh, crisis. And uh, there are some financial stocks also that I like. Um, Synchrony Financial, symbol SYF. Okay, this stock came down a lot, just like uh, any other stock, almost like 50%. Recently it was trading like $12. Right now it's trading like around $18. Still pretty good price in my opinion to buy this stock. It's a, it's a private level credit company and uh, they also have uh, Synchrony Bank. Uh, they also have a consumer credit uh, division. It's a financial company. Uh, and uh, actually Stifel, I believe, or... Um, Jeffries uh, provided a note uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday that uh, Synchrony Financial is best positioned uh, in this environment to uh, uh, you know to lend money to uh, to maintain their financial position, and uh, along with the, he also mentioned uh, companies like Ally Financial, symbol A L L Y, uh, O M F, One Main Holdings and uh, FCFS okay first cash okay but uh, he said that uh, synchrony financial is best positioned so uh, you know choose your <laughs> choose your uh, pickings choose your stocks okay so Veer Biotechnology had earnings yesterday but uh, nobody cares about their, <laughs> their pretty much earnings because everybody cares about uh, what they're doing with COVID-19. And uh, that's <laughs> half of the conference call, they talk about that. So they provided, uh, a yes, uh, like yesterday or the day before yesterday, um, they said that they have identified two monoclonal antibodies that they sent to one to Vuxi Biologic, a Chinese company, and the other one to Biogen to start manufacturing it uh, to be prepared for clinical trials in uh, five to six months or three to five months. So uh, I told you that uh, VIR, V I R, is a pretty good buy in uh, like uh, 30 area, closer to 30 area. Uh, in my opinion, it's opening higher, but um, you know maybe it can come down with the whole market. Who knows? Uh, also, Inovia Pharmaceuticals uh, they had some news yesterday about uh, the development of some uh, cancerous drug uh, in phase two, some positive results. But at this point, nobody cares about that. Everybody cares about what they report on COVID nineteen vaccine. So, uh, in general, I like Inovia, like I told you, especially under seven dollars, uh, and uh, I think uh, this stock could go higher. And also, of course, I like uh, Moderna. Okay, so Moderna is uh, opening higher, but uh, in the area of uh, twenty-five, twenty-seven dollars, that's a pretty good pickup, in my opinion. Okay, so Guild. Uh, a lot of people ask me about Guild. Uh, I don't know what the deal was. Guild, actually, maybe somebody can explain me because uh, several days ago they were given uh, by uh, FDA was uh, gave uh, Guild uh, their the designation for their their MDCV or. Uh, vaccine, uh, a rare disease designation, uh, so they can produce this vaccine. And uh, all of a sudden, after that, like the, one day later, v uh, Guild pulled that designation. They said that uh, they will go by a regular route and do um, uh, more studies and so on. I mean, the, there were a lot of political pressure applied to Guild um, saying, um, that they, you know, just want the seven-year exclusivity. They want to make a buck and stuff like that. So, like uh, Senator uh, Senator Bernie Sanders actually said that it's completely ridiculous that guilt is given this FDA approval. I actually don't get it because uh, I don't understand if if Remdesivir works, why can guilt uh, give it to patients? And now uh, I don't understand why uh, guilt is pulling this drug because of this political pressure. Don't you have to ignore this and give it to like sick people? <laughs> I just don't get it. Not even by, as an investor, but as a, just a human being. Uh, I don't understand this company and uh, maybe somebody in the comments can explain me what's going on with this. Okay, so let's move on to um, uh, SNY. Uh, Sanofi, Sanofi uh, said that uh, they're developing uh, a, a 
the messenger RNA vaccine along with T-Bio, symbol T-B-I-O. Okay, translate uh, bio. Okay, so this stock t translate bio TBIO is higher a little bit, but I would stick uh, with buying Sanofi actually. I mean, I like Sanofi, especially on a sell off. Okay, so KBH also reported earnings. That's the home builder, and uh, they reported pretty good earnings, very good, actually very good earnings, spectacular, by beating by 18 cents, but withdrawn their financial guidance. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to be in KBH, but this is one of my favorite builders, actually. Uh, so, symbol KBH. Lulu actually also reported earnings, and they reported pretty good numbers, but they said... Uh, that uh, you know, a lot of their stores uh, are closed, and they have uh, uh, provided a pretty weak guidance, and the Lulu shares are lower. I don't want to be in Lulu at this point because uh, obviously we don't know what's going on with the virus. Okay, so WW, which is uh, um, okay, so this is the uh, Oprah company. Uh, Pretty much, it um, was upgraded by um, WW International was upgraded this morning, and uh, by Morgan Stanley, and that's not a bad company to be in actually, um, because uh, a lot of people will be uh, concentrated on health nowadays, and that's not a bad company to be in. So Deer also uh, upgraded this morning and uh, Deer is trading a little bit lower along with the market but uh, I think other uh, like in 120s that's a pretty good buy for Deer I mean they they come down a lot and I thought maybe <laughs> they could even go down uh, below $100 but never did but I think in like 120s uh, would be a buyer for Deer so in general is a good time to uh, to sit in uh, uh, and buy uh, the, the companies that uh, are uh, like providing f uh, technology company that providing a lot of technology solutions for the internet. In general, you know that I like MIT, MAD, <coughs> Microsoft. Microsoft is probably my favorite, and uh, uh, they actually just reported that they are acquiring a firm networks that specialize in cloud mobile network. Uh, uh, to prepare for 5G. So uh, that's a good company under $150 to own. All right, that's it, guys. That's the wrap for the day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to click the like button, and I'll see you Monday.